So today on my Chevy small block pickup, I'm going to show you how to hook up a tachometer. Usually when you go to buy a tachometer, they come with instructions and diagrams on which wire is which. So always the red wire, the full color red wire without any striping on it is going to be your power. So this is a wire you want to hook up to 12 volt power source or uh, the back of your stereo. Um, then the green wire always is the one that goes to the distributor. It's the one that, or goes to your negative uh, ignition coil. Uh, yellow usually is lighting or white and black is always grim. So since I already have a tack installed in this one, which is different than the one over on the desk, but it still has the exact same wires. Okay, so I started with this one and I had the wires under here. These are already like really bolted down. Um, it had the same amount of wires as over there, green, red, white as for light, and black for ground. So from there, I ran it in behind here and stuff, so I had to take this out and the front dash panel. And I'll show you underneath where the wires go. Okay, so now I'm just about underneath my dash. And all these wires here are just for my stereo, my aftermarket stereo, and you can see here is I have a different wire running from up there, hooked up to the black one on this tack, because I got this tack used and I had different wires on it, so, but I identify the red one, but this one is ground, it should be black, but it's ground. Then I have this white one here dangling, this one is for lighting, but I'm not gonna like really drive the truck at night anyways. So, not really too important, especially since this truck's automatic. Um, and this white wire here, this runs all the way up to the tack. And this is the distributor one. It, like I said, there's different wires on this one because it's used, but at the top where it connects with the tack, it is green. So I just, Got a longer wire. Sure enough, it's white, but I know it's the tack one, and I have it running through the firewall. Right where my uh, speedo wire goes to the transmission, I believe. Yeah. And yeah, I'll show you under the hood where that goes. Okay, so I'm under the hood of my Chevy truck now. And this is the wire that's hooked up to the tack, like the white wire I just showed you. And I connected it to a green one, just in case I sell the truck or whatever and they want to identify which one is the distributor, I mean the tachometer one. So this wire runs behind this, over top of the ignition wire contraption. And it runs all the way to right in there, right to that clip. Not the one with the red wire, the one right behind it. And I identified, I identified which one was the ground, or the negative one on the distributor. And for a small block Chevy, for uh, 73 to 77, or 76, small block 350s, it was the brown one. And there's only three wires that hook up there anyways, in case you're wondering. And they're brown, black, and red. I honestly thought it was going to be the black one, but turns out it was the brown one. Not, and there's nothing different with this uh, ignition wiring thing on the distributor. It's stock, so... It's not aftermarket and people didn't change the wires around on it. 
But, I don't know, that's really just about it. Nothing too much else to show you. It's really, really, really basic. I thought it was going to be very difficult to do, but I was wrong. So now I have a tack, a giant fuel gauge, speedo, oil pressure, battery, temperature, and then an idiot brake light. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, when you're going to hook up your wires, like your lighting wire for your tack, you can run it into the ones that turn on your dash ones. But you can barely see mine because my bulbs are shit. Oh, so it's probably late in here anyway, so. But yeah. I don't know, that's pretty much it, guys. For some reason, my signal light's on now. Oh, well. Something else I gotta fix, but... Yeah, that's it, guys. I hope you like it. And... I'll fire up for you to show you she works. And when you're starting this, always be sure to disconnect your battery. Because then you won't get shocked. And yeah. When I test it. Usually, mine used to sit up there at a thousand when I got it, when I was hugging it up. Then I turn it on and just drop down. See, it moves a little. It means you got power to it. I have it run into my stereo for power. I just hooked it into the power wire that was on the truck. And yeah. <laughs> See if she fires up. Oh. Oh yeah, I got a little bit of smoke in the morning. So yeah. Hope you guys like it. Please subscribe.